Hi there. Today on It Is A Keeper, we are making chicken enchiladas. My guys are obsessed with enchiladas, so they are requesting them all the time. And these chicken enchiladas are filled with onions and chicken and cheese and rolled into soft tortillas and then baked in a delicious sauce. This is one of my most popular recipes on It Is A Keeper. Now, make sure you click on the red subscribe button below so you're notified whenever I share new recipes. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. All right, let's dig into some chicken enchiladas. Okay, so our first step in making these chicken enchiladas is we have to get some onions going in the pan. So I'm just going to add a little bit of vegetable oil to my pan, get it nice and hot. And then we're going to add um, a full onion that you've diced up into bite-sized pieces. Get it all in there. And we're just gonna cook this for a few minutes until it's translucent and those onions start to soften up. Okay, so our onions are nice and soft. I'm going to remove the pan from the heat and then we'll move on with the recipe. We're just going to set those aside and we're going to bring in our chicken. So here I have a couple of cooked chicken breasts. What I did is I just seasoned them with my taco seasoning and you can grab that recipe in the show notes below. I will link to it. It's a great recipe for um, anything that needs that, that taco seasoning. Um, so they're just seasoned on both sides with that taco blend and now we're just going to shred this up. So we just want this into bite-sized shreds. I'm gonna put it right in the pan with the onions you want to make sure your chicken's cooled before you do this, uh, otherwise you'll have burned fingertips. <laughs> I speak from experience. I'm very impatient <laughs> when I'm cooking. So a lot of times I don't wait for things to cool. Alrighty, so to our chicken and onion, we have one more thing we want to add and that is some shredded cheese. So here I have some Monterey Jack cheese. I started shredding it, but we're going to just get it finished. You can buy the pre-shredded cheese, that's perfectly fine. You can even use cheddar if you'd like, whatever you got. I love the way Monterey Jack cheese melts. It's just so creamy and, and melty. Melty, right? That's, that's a thing. Sure. And when you get down to that bottom part, be careful of your knuckles. All right. I love this folding grater. I'll put a link to this in the uh, notes below so you can check that out. It's one of my favorite kitchen gadgets. So this is about two cups of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. I'm going to add about three quarters of it, half to three quarters, maybe a little less. You wanna save some because we're gonna put this on top. So that's looking pretty good. All right, now we'll just get this all mixed up cheese will start to melt in the warm pan. Not hot, but just warm, because we did take it off the heat. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We don't want it to become completely melted, but we want it to start coming together. Okay, we are just about to move on. This is looking great. Okay, this looks fantastic. Now we're going to make a little assembly line. This is how we're gonna get our enchiladas together. So I'm going to slide the meat over here. We're gonna slide the meat over. I have a bowl here where we're going to add our enchilada sauce. And you can get this recipe on my YouTube channel or on my website, I'll provide links for you. It is a fantastic 10 minute enchilada sauce, full of delicious flavor. And last but not least, we need our tortillas. So these are enchilada sized tortillas. Now, my favorite kind to use are these, and you see they're flour and corn. So it's a blend of the two typical types of tortillas. You have a little bit of flour and a little bit of corn. You get the softness of the flour, but the flavor of the corn. And these are enchilada sized. Of course you can use whichever you prefer. If you're a purist, go all corn. If you like it soft, go with the flour. It's entirely up to you. But I did take them and I toasted them a little bit on my stove in the back, on my, my cooktop, um, just over the, the flame, just to get a little bit of charring. I find it adds just that deeper flavor and you get that little bit of the cooked 
taste of the cooked corn and flour. It's so good. This is really, it's a quick, it only takes a few minutes. It is a step worth doing if you can do it. If you don't have a gas cooktop, you can always just throw them under the broiler real quick. Don't want to leave them there too long because you don't want them to crisp up. You just want to get that little bit of charness on there. So good. So next up, we just need our baking dish. I'm just going to, we've got quite the arrangement here. This is a messy process. This is going to be interesting to see how this works. Actually, I'm going to do a bit of rearranging. Bear with me. I have here a half cup of goop. We're going to use a scant half cup. Don't you love that word? It's kind of like one of those vintage words in cooking, a scant, which means just not quite filled all the way to the top. But my grandmother would use it all the time. So we're going to use not quite a full half cup in each tortilla of our meat mixture. So first things first, I'm going to take some of this enchilada sauce and put it in the bottom of our baking dish. Just a little bit there so our, our little enchiladas have something to sit in, something nice and warm. Okay, so then I start, let me just move these off. You're going to be like, Christina, what are you doing? You've got all kinds of things going on here. I'm getting confused. Okay, we're going to dip our tortilla shells right into the sauce. They don't have to be fully covered. And we're going to do our scant half cup. And I'd like to put it near the edge of the enchilada, or the tortilla, and roll it up nice and tight. Just tuck and roll, and then lay it in your baking dish. And we're going to do this seven more times because this makes eight tortillas. All right, so we're just gonna Keep going with our enchiladas, so a quick dip in the sauce, scoop up that cheese, oh, this smells so good. Now what's great about this recipe guys is you could totally make a double batch while you're making a mess and you're going with this and stash one in the freezer and then you just have to bake it off when you're ready and dinner's done. I do that all the time. If I'm going to go through the trouble of making these, I'm going to do a double batch with the way my guys eat them. Okay. Slide it in. That's looking good. So we're going to take our plate with our accumulated sauce and get that all in there because there's some onions on there. There might even be cheese or chicken that didn't quite make it into into our tortillas and then we'll take this last bit of sauce and just kind of drizzle it over. Now you can make them as saucy or as dry as you'd like. That is, oh my kidding, get it all out there. As saucy or as dry as you'd like, it's entirely up to you. My family likes them saucy, so we're going on the saucy side. Okay, one last step before we bake these bad boys. Remember that cheese. We're going to cover the top in the cheese. Now, you can add other stuff to this, too. If you like olives, you could put some black olives on top. If you like um, jalapenos, you could put jalapenos on there. Whatever you'd like. It's completely flexible. Add the toppings that interest you. All right, now all we need to do at this point, if you're going to freeze them, you can just cover them up, throw them in the freezer, and then you have dinner ready on a busy night. If you're gonna bake them right away, we're gonna take these, we're gonna pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Because remember, everything's cooked, we're just warming it through and getting that cheese to melt and get nice and gooey. So we're gonna pop those in for a few minutes and then we're gonna bite into them. One. Okay, so I have some enchiladas that I baked off. They are here and they're ready. And just look at that melty cheese on top and you can see that delicious enchilada sauce just encased over the side. Now I put a dollop of sour cream on there because that's how I like to eat them. But I'm going to top everything off with a sprinkling of cilantro, just to really kick up that Tex-Mex flavor. Give it a little bit of freshness. Perfect. All right, I'm ready to dig in. Let me cut off, and I kind of go in the middle, but on the side, because I want to get some of that cheese and the chicken. Get a little bit of sour cream on there. Going in, so soft. Mm. Mm. Just, mm. I have no words. Mm. 
You guys, I could probably, I say like I could eat this whole thing, but I can't. I mean, they are so filling and so delicious. The, enchil the, the tortilla itself is nice and soft and tender, but it has that corn oomph to it and the charred edges. So, so good. And the homemade enchilada sauce really takes it over the edge. So if you've got an extra 10 minutes, make your own and take them over the top. You guys have to try this recipe. Thanks for watching. You can get the full printable recipe in the video description below. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And check out the rest of my videos where you can find more of my favorite easy recipes and quick tips. I'll see you next time. Bye.